Hey guys, it's Peaches and welcome back to The Sims 4. And today we are building Willow Creek's hospital for my save file. And this is one of the three lots from Get to Work, if you didn't know. And uh, of course it's for the uh, doctor career? Doctor? Is that what it what it's called? Doctor or uh, um, medical career, I think. That's probably more appropriate. It's for the medical career and once again I built this lot based on a concept art that I found for from the same person actually. Uh, I think his name is David Merer, I want to say. I don't, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. But it is the same person that uh, did the concept art for the police station that I posted last week. And um, I don't know, I just I just love the I, I love the art from that man. I mean it's it's just great. And then I it's too bad that I, they never actually applied it to the game. So, you know, that that's what we're here for, to you know, reconstruct it in game. And I think it turned out really good. Functionally, it's um it's decent. The entire right side of the building is pretty much for like the sims to like hang out and there's really not much functionality when it comes to the actual career uh, because there's more like a hangout area and a bathroom and then on the top floor there's a fake farm pharmacy which you know I know that it usually say I like to make things functional but this time I just wasn't sure what to build there and I didn't want to make the hospital way too big and have all of the patients scattered all over the place if that makes sense because I already built I built a ton of rooms for the patients and um, how it works and get to work is that you come here and there's the sims that are sick obviously and then there's the sims that need surgery and those are not really that many so the ones that are sick will come to the rooms that have a bed and just hang out there until they get, you know, until they get attention. And um, it's not like a normal hospital, you know, where there's people who need an emergency and then there's people who are sick and then there's pe people who come to just for consult, if that makes sense. So there's a little room that looks more like a regular consult room, consultation room, where, you know, you would go because you have a cold or, I don't know, something simple that can be fixed in just one day and you don't have to stay but it's just to make it look like that but they all function the same way you know and as you can see the exterior is pretty much coming together I do go back and forth quite often on this build and it is pretty messy editing I have to say I did cut out a lot of fat because I tried to figure out the floor plan for way too long so I cut I cut all of that out pretty much and um, as you can see, I decided to go for more like a brick exterior instead of all white, like the concept art, because it was it was a little too white and it looked a little bit strange. And plus with the brick, it kind of looks a lot more, you know, uh, together with the um, with the police station that I built last week. So I liked I liked that in the end. I liked the brick and on the outside and. Um, as you can see now, I am building the exterior. The entrance changes a little bit. <laughs> and so does the top floor because I wasn't sure if I wanted to build more rooms on the top floor. And then I realized that I didn't build a cafeteria or a place for the employees to hang out and eat and, you know, rest. So that's what I ended up doing in the end on the top floor. I built a little cafeteria. And I actually use the cafeteria thing from university and I know that you have to hire a vendor, which is kind of annoying. I wish you didn't have to do that. I mean, I keep saying this, but with every little like, you know, vending, uh, what's it called? Like, you know, those little bending thingies from, from get together and from, not from get together, sorry, from city leaving where you can buy food and all that stuff. I wish that if it was in a community lot, you didn't have to hire a vendor, that's kind of silly. But it is how it works and um, I'm pretty sure that's what you, what you have to do here as well. But there is also vending machines for your employees to buy food and there's a microwave and all that stuff. So it's not like you have to actually hire anyone to, to eat. But anyways, I am decorating the rooms right now and they are 
I mean, they're pretty empty. Normally, hospital rooms don't have much. They only have a few spaces for you to put your clothes and stuff like that. And then maybe there's a chair for visitations and, and that's it. <laughs> they're pretty sad and pretty empty. And I try to make it not look too sad. But, I mean, it, again, it's a hospital. What are you gonna do? <laughs> so there's four rooms with two beds each. And then there's the consultation room, which is gonna be on the other entrance on the back of the hospital, which you will see, I don't know, I don't know, at some point. <laughs> You'll see it at some point. And then on the right side of the building, uh, there is like a main sitting waiting area with a little space on the back where you can also buy food. So there's plenty of spaces where you can take your sim to buy food. You don't have to go to the top floor necessarily. And then there's also the two bathrooms on the sides. I believe I built another bathroom up top. I think so, yeah. Uh, on the top floor, there's offices. Two, there's the little offices with, uh, you know, computers. And I believe I also put the um, some chemical analyzers there. But yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure... I, I tried to make sure that this hospital had everything you needed to, you know, to make it work. <laughs> I really tried. There could be something missing. The, the, you know, I could always miss something. I'm human. I make mistakes. But anyways, as you can see, I do go back and forth quite a lot around the building, just placing like seating areas and lighting and little details on the walls and stuff like that. And um, it is kind of messy, as I said, and I did cut out a lot of a lot of footage from here because it was not that interesting and quite repetitive. And I, th I believe that when I was building this, I forgot to record one of the sections and I had to redo it all over again because, um, yeah. I believe I also had that bug happen where the walls just didn't show up. So I had to reload the game and then I forgot to I forgot to press record and then I had to do it again. So it was you know it was a mess. This recording, it was a mess, but you know it's here, it's happening. And I believe that's why the cafeteria came out so quickly is because I built it twice. <laughs> and um, yeah, that that's what happens. And by the way, if you're watching this on Friday, I want to say that I will probably be posting this. I will be live streaming today. Yes, I am live streaming two or three times a week, more or less. I'm still figuring out the correct, like the proper schedule, but I'm trying to do it Wednesdays and Saturdays and maybe one of the other days of the week because uh, I have to make it work with my actual job. But um, I'm live streaming two to three times a week. And I'm being pretty consistent and I'm really proud of myself and you should really come to uh, hang out because we're having a lot of fun and uh, you're, you're missing out. It's the same. <laughs> I've been playing Minecraft and it's been a lot of fun and I'm planning on one of these days when maybe when I build up a little bit more viewers, I want to try out crowd control with Minecraft. And uh, if you know what crowd control is, is, is this application that you can set up on Twitch for your viewers to actually have an impact on the game. So they use bits to like give you lives or kill the player or spawn monsters and things like that. And it's it's a lot of fun and it's chaos. And um, I, I will really like to try it one of these days. It could be fun <laughs> or it could be a total mess. I don't know. But playing Minecraft the other day was a lot of fun. And um, it was it was a series of unfortunate events but i think uh i think it was fun and i'm you know i think you should come hang out because yeah again you're missing out <laughs> that's it that's a plug that's the plug of the day i'm gonna stop now but again if you're interested there's a link in the description down below i'll probably comment and also link it i'm gonna be annoying about this because uh i think it's a lot of fun all right, and how many times can I say fun in just one video? I don't know. Take a shot every time. <laughs> Take a shot every time Peach says fun. <laughs> but anyways, here's where I'm building, uh, decorating the consult room that I was talking about. And um, it looks more, you know, it doesn't look like, a, like the other rooms. It's just like, a, you know, when you go to a doctor and you're like, you know, I have a cold or I have an infection and um, they just, you know 
check you out and that's it. That's what I wanted to make it look anyways. But uh, it does function just like the other rooms. There's nothing special in there. And there's also a little bit of... And there's also a little waiting area over here with more vending machines, apparently. Um, that I forgot. <laughs> there's vending machines all over the place now that I think about it. And um, here's when I started going around and decorating uh, the walls a little bit with posters and um, little things like that. And I always try to put in community buildings, I always try to make sure that there is fire extinguishers and exit signs all over the place. <laughs> I don't know why, I just think it, it gives it some realism. But yeah, as when it comes to function, this lot, I think everything should work properly because I know the spaces look a little bit small. But I wasn't able to properly test the surgery room. I will probably do that before I upload this video and I'll let you know. But um, the yeah, the space is quite tight and the machine is very big and it has a lot of space around it that is required to um, to make it work. So I hope I hope there's no issues with that. But as far as the uh, the treadmills and the other two weird scan what is it called the, the uh, x-ray machines that i put on the other side i th those work properly the other one the only one that i'm not sure is the uh, the surgery machine which is you know as always in the sims 4 it's huge and unnecessary <laughs> but you know it, it is what it is and of course i also decorated the walls with tons of like you know diplomas and things like that and now that we have university, it, it is kind of handy that you can have like, you know, diplomas from from each university and it's it, it makes it look a little bit more realistic because, you know, when you go to a doctor's office, they have to have their, their um, I don't know if the diplomas, but this, their certifications, they are usually on the walls, you know, to make people know that they're actually professionals and that you should trust them. So that's that's why I always do this in these in these kinds of buildings. I've built several, or at least a couple of vet clinics at this point, and I always do that. I always put the little certifications on the walls, and uh, I don't know, gives it a touch, gives it a little touch. And here in a minute is uh, when I build the pharmacy, which is absolutely a hundred percent useless <laughs> because I had no idea where else to, you know building that space it was a little bit too small to make another office so i figured that i could just build a little pharmacy and um at first i pull out a bunch of uh, shelves and i put a bunch of the um what was it it was like little jars with like medicine i believe that there was stuff from um from strangerville like the the little shots the little medicines and stuff but then I decided that, I mean, it wouldn't, it, it was probably not a good idea to have all of those things because they could, the Sims could probably grab them and um, they could do something stupid with it. So I decided to uh, remove them in the end and I put these wall decor from, uh, from Spa Day. I pull out this wall decor from Spa Day that has like, it's like light, has like light and it has like jars on it. You'll see it here in a minute, uh, once I get rid of all the shelves. But uh, yeah, I put that up and it gives it a little more of a nicer effect. And it's not, again, it's not functional. There's not gonna be anyone sitting on that PC or anything like that, but um, it looks good. It looks good. And since a lot of hospitals in real life do actually have little pharmacies where you can just go there and uh, get your medicine that you, get, you just got um, prescribed, you know, I figured it wouldn't be a bad idea to just have it there. And um, it functions as a little hangout area if you feel like it. But yeah, as far as that, is, it's just not useful. <laughs> it's not a useful space. It's probably, you know what, you guys will probably think about something better for this space than me. But I was, um, I don't know, I just couldn't think of anything. So there it is. But yeah, and I believe that we're pretty close here to the end. Uh, in a minute, I do go outside once again and I do some landscaping, which I try to keep very simple. And I did try to, 
you know, recreate the uh, landscape that is around, you know, this area. Which, uh, I guess it's supposed to be Willow Creek. And now that I think about it, from this lot, you can see uh, the police station. However, even if you do change the police station, it's not, it doesn't update the, uh, the look of the, of the lot, if that makes sense. If, even though I did already build a police station when I was building the hospital, you can see the lot from the distance, but it doesn't look the way I built it. You know, it's weird. It's like it's a fake background. <laughs> it's really strange, but I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know why this area is like basically nowhere. I guess it's so people cannot visit it normally, which I think is kind of silly because the hospital is made so, not just so your Sims can have a career, but so can Sims can just go there if they feel sick. I wish you could do that. I wish you could just call, a, you know, on the phone and just go to hospital especially for your pregnant sims so they don't have to give birth at home because you know again silly stuff silly stuff silly decisions but anyways now we are really coming up at the end i built a little fun time at the entrance and uh, that's pretty much it so as always you can download this lot from the gallery now the gallery has been acting really really stupid lately so if i cannot link directly to the gallery you can always look for this lot underneath my uh, origin id which is uh, peaches place if you're following me on the gallery you can always look for the lot in game and download it from there but the in browser gallery is not working <laughs> lately i don't know what's going on but it's been giving me issues to log in for quite a few days now and um but yeah that's it and uh, i will see you guys in the next video